Welcome, welcome, welcome. Before we start this episode, allow me to summarize what happens in the first few turns. We build. We recruit some units. The Buster and I get liberated. We destroy a building. And we build another building. And our money goes from this to this to this to this. And ultimately to this. And that is where we pick up the episode. Send, yeah. Let's go for that and then we'll get another one. Can we see what kind? Okay, so they have a full stack. 20 from 20. Akink has 8 guys in their garrison. So pretty big garrison. Uh, let's get the Falks guys out of here. The Falks did well, but... 800 is not that much for Noble Horsemen, so... It's a real bargain. And we'll end the turn with 6k in the bank, which is good, very good. Um, we've never built one of these oh, craftsman's house. Yeah, this one, w this is the one we wanted. But do we want to build it in Malva? Like we really, we're looking for something that will boost the public order. The well will eventually boost the public order with four or two. And I think these temples just boost the public a lot more. So we'll get a temple. Is this is this our official capital, Malva? I think we want to move our capital. Action rises. Kidri. Never heard of them. Trouble Publis. Thracia. Tell me about it. Oh, that's a little bit better than it was before. It was an outraged, pub outraged populace before. But now it's troubled. Which is better. So we have 97% Balkan. We have 85% Balkan. And we have 54% Balkan. Which gives us... Uh, nine cultural differences. You request. Let's declare war. Erviski, they got no friends, they only got enemies. We declare them. Down. I don't want to fight this one because we will see our noble horsemen in action, and they should be on paper, they're godly. They cost 1100, that's more than these five units all together as a is that is that a figure of speech i'm not sure mate that might be even real that might even be real um so we have the same army snow <laughs> uh units that go into recover from fatigue dry let's go for dry i think this is our first winner battle Noble horsemen are cool. They even have their own area of effect in which they boost morale. They have 68 base morale. Like, so high. So chill. Heavy spears. Dacians. What worked really well last time was having a little bit of a blob. And then trying to work around that blob with other units. So we'll try that again. We get the exact same blow up. With them being frontline. Frontline, second line, a little bit of a in between unit. Oh no, you can't be one. Sorry guys. I'll have to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's look at them real quick. Oh, they look so elite. Wow, they look great, man. Look at these huge lances and beautiful armor and little short swords. These short, these short, these short swords are pretty well modeled for such a detailed game. Respect for the anyone who's a 3D artist and creative. I respect that massively. 
could have a huge line of skirmishers, Celtic slingers, whatever. Then a lot of levy freemen, like a lot, and heavy horse, and Celtic light horse. So the heavy horse, we probably do not want them to be in a one-on-one -on -one fight with our noble horse, because you might not have noticed, this is shock cow. So it has really high charge bonus, but not that high melee defense. Compared to this one, we can't see their stats, but probably have a lot more melee defense. We can always try to cycle charges with noble horsemen, but I don't know. I really fancy that tactic. I fancy the tactic to bait out their heavy horse. So we'll try that. We'll try. We'll try it right now. Whenever you can, always try to pick on one enemy unit before the battle starts because it it will just give you an advantage. If you can kill somebody without taking any attrition and uh, without ten taking any casualties, then that's a free kill. And you always want to look out for these free kills. That's not even from them turning around. They're, ex they're just like fixed in this position. My line looks a little bit questionable, but I don't know. I still agree on my tactic. The blob just worked really well when we, when we got over that hill. Okay, so now we're outside of the range of their slingers, but inside of the range of everyone else. At least of these level freemen. So we'll get some free shots on the level freemen. They will probably miss. So these Celtic slingers will try to battle my horsemen. Why are you getting, up? Why are you getting so close? necessary and that's five kills so now we want to leave because these guys have spears if they can fill at us i'm curious to see will the cav will the cav move on us oh, that was a waste of ammo killed nobody because they were running away from us 35 34 we only lost one we got 11 kills. Look, this, this is just free kills for us. Okay, I think the cab is starting to move. They're getting kind of triggered. Okay, so now these guys are really not not interesting enough for me to keep targeting try to finish them up real quick no, don't leave let's turn around have you shot and fire on skirmish mode please heavy horses just get out of there Guys, you're on skirmish mode. Why aren't you, why aren't you moving? Ooh, my normal horsemen are pretty slow. Oh. So now we're just baiting out Celtic horse with our own cows. Are they slow or just tired? Yeah, they're just tired. Because they have so much armor. Ready for battle! We're really trying to isolate this unit of Light cats. Oh, we got another volley off, which killed, yeah, five, six more. We lost some of our units due to stinger fire. They're actually losing a bit more. Like this might be the time to start moving. We also want our... They're fresh. How many stamina do they have? Resistant to fatigue. That is such a good trait to have on a uh, skirmisher cav. Being resistant to fatigue. That is huge. That is actually huge. 
Okay, so these guys are obviously out of position. So, if we can, we'll draw them a little bit more out of position and we'll pounce with Cav. We just don't want to get hit with these guys. Yeah, I think this will be really effective. Effective pounce. We just keep get, staying out of range. These guys massively out of position. I don't think our high armor, like how many armor? Oh, 60 armor. That's not that high. But I don't think our, our, our cav will really care about these stingers. Like we lost none. And now while they're running, we can fire some of our own skirmishers with some of our own skirmishers. So we need to save some ammo. We can eliminate the Celtic thing. Heavy horsemen. And the heavy horsemen, the noble horsemen will get one, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it will get. It will. Get, look, they're dropping. They're dropping so fast. So in combat, they just take counter short swords. Look at that guy. They have way too much, way too much armor for the series. Oh no! Please don't. That's why. I, that's what I hate about having arm, my guys on fire. The fire will. Sometimes the fire will is just really not what you want. Is this the balance of power? So the other resolve said we we would do fine, but the balance of power says we don't have a chance. Lovely. You love to see it happen. You absolutely love to see it happen. Okay, so let's pause real quick. So we have this. These guys can fire on anything valuable, like these X wires, from the side. These guys will have them flank. These guys will have them chill because we don't want to get involved with a heavy horse without any uh, any spear unit to, to back them up. With the heavy horse being on the right, we will want to move our skirmishers to the left. We'll reevaluate our line like this. Falks behind. Uh, no, these guys over here. With the Falks being behind. A little bit to the left as well. Okay, let's continue. So shoot on anything valuable. Ready for battle. Battle ready. Be hungry for blood and battle. Oh, these guys might be able to really annoy the hell out of these elves for The Celtic singers aren't paying attention to my dudes anymore. Let's get one of these guys. We don't want both both of them in the charge. getting up so close. I don't, I don't really get that. Man. I don't really get that. Okay, so first line. Shield wall. Shield wall. Raise the hell out of the banner. The heavy horse are getting pounced on. The skirmishers will try to kill them off. These guys are still firing. I want the heavy shot. Oh. Okay, this will be an unnecessary volley, which we will take to the face. Falks, get in there. You guys get in there. You guys get in there. And you guys get in there. Heavy horse are gone. We are still working on their oak sworn, which I really like. My. My female general is being called out of position. Being fired in from the back. I hope she doesn't die. She's taking a lot of fire from these skirmishers. We need to kill them as soon as possible. Or at least as well. Yeah, we only have. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. Let's try to get our own. 
let's try to get her out of here. Like, this is just an engagement she doesn't want to be in. I thought we have four units of normal horsemen, but now we only have two left. Oh no. Normal horsemen. Okay, these guys got caught out of position. One of our units has used all its ammunition. These guys got caught out of position as well. The Osworn are down to 34. Noble horsemen! Being fired at constantly. Let's try to keep these noble horsemen in the game. Instead of letting them ride. Okay. Oh. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, sorry, I decided to charge. We can use our archer king to maintain this battle as well. Falks, how are you doing? Are we, how are we feeling, Falks? 18. Axe warriors. Attack him, attack him, attack him. Skirmishers, skirmishers, mercenary cap warriors. Yeah, you don't want to be in that engagement. Noble horsemen to the left. Yeah, we'll just let them go to the edge of the map so we won't lose him. This is the best unit of shock cap we have right now. So let's use them for some rear charges. Let's just ready everyone. Ready. Ready. So we've cleaned up this this part of the battle. My general is free now, so good stuff. These noble horsemen are doing one of our units has used all its ammunition. Rear charging. Which is good, happy day. Noble horsemen! Again, beautiful hammer and anvil type charge. Skirmisher! Useful the battle ammunition. is turning in our favor. Turning in our favor, you love to see it happen. We'll Everything is happening, you love to see it. Cassian! Heavy you need to group eight. Move it! And it's finished! So the Oathsworn are the only oh, unit left it. right now. We'll give them the juiciest rear charge of their life. Although they're waving. I think we delivered. It's just a regular victory. It's not costly or whatever. It's just a good victory. We, yeah, we only took 300 losses. Like these noble horsemen, 255 kills. And they could have gone more if we let them chase. Look, our infantry line is really just a soak of damage. But our skirmishers are there to dish out some damage. Man, these guys are good. 100 kills, getting consistently 100, 100 kills. Every battle. These guys turned out to be huge again. Because we used them really well to take out the Oathsworn and some of the Cav. The Noble Horsemen, it was a little bit hard to manage all of them all the time. But again, they did so well. These noble horsemen seem to be huge for us. They can be they become they can become a pivotal unit in our army. And we kept them alive. That one That was one of our missions as well. So we trampled the Aravis key into the ground. We get minus twenty six, but that will be minus six within uh, a turn. And I think that that'll be a good happy happy vibe to conclude this episode on we have made so much progress in the last three four turn uh, three four episodes that i'm really happy where with where this is going we're really steamrolling through this campaign right now obviously we will come across new obstacles like that just happens in a campaign but right now we're doing good everything looks good even our freaking public order is okay look plus 15 plus 6 plus 1 things are good things are really good we all, we have 10k in the bank we have a really good army we have a god tier general like she is the best 
you can you, we really can mess about with her she is so good yeah and i really like this faction the unit composition is pretty pretty neat i just like it I just it's just fun we have the last uh, the second to last barracks so that'll be interesting whenever we move back we can recruit some heavy spears unhappy populace well fair enough okay on that note we will end and i will see you guys next time and i thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a very nice day